Hello, welcome back to the show. This is my fourth video in a row, which is the fourth episode in a row. There's been absolutely no views on any of my episodes, but that's fine. Because um, at the end of the day, I'm going to upload every day for a year and see how many subscribers that I, uh, that I rake up. So, um, yeah, let's get, let's get right to it. Um, first thing we're going to talk about is Joe Weller and Jake Paul. If any of you don't know this story, I'm going to give the backstory on it. Joe Weller fought Jake Paul at his own house and then was in a music video that Jake Paul made very quickly talking crap about Joe Weller. Yes, Joe Weller was in a music video dancing with Jake Paul and the music video that he was in was trashing his own self. Yeah, uh, that seems a little weird. It seems a little odd, and maybe the uh, logic isn't all there. Uh, personally, I don't see how um, anybody could do that. Now, a lot of people are saying Joe Weller is selling out because, you know, Jake Paul hit him right in the stomach, Joe Weller fell down, and then that's it, you know? And people are saying the punch didn't look that that rough, and why would you fly out all the way to California? Why would you be in the music video? Why would you let him beat you? Da da da. Why would you do all of this and then just go back home? Why why would all of this be real, you know? Um, people are saying that Jake Paul paid him a lot of money to do all of this shit to himself. Um, and honestly, I could see that being a possibility. I'm not 100% sure and I'm not going to confirm that it is. Uh, but I can I could see that being a possibility. That's not that far-fetched that somebody paid him to do all that. I mean, Nowadays, dude, like people do anything for money. If so, like they probably paid him like fifty G's. What if somebody paid you fifty thousand dollars to go to their house, fake fight, and then be in their music video for two minutes? You wouldn't do that. I mean, a lot of people would do a lot of stuff for money nowadays, man. So, um, yeah. In other fighting news, uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov and uh, Conor McGregor were on Twitter just exchanging words. Conor was calling Khabib's wife a towel because she was wearing the burqa or whatever it was. Um, uh, in their wedding, it was like a white burqa, so he made fun of the religion. Um, and then Khabib responded by saying that he's a rapist um, and that there's a, there's a baby that Conor has from this girl and nobody knows about it and they made a D they did a dna test and it's his and there's so many things that is wrong that are wrong. like this whole exchange and all of these things that's happening with khabib and connor is starting to get so dangerous that this is definitely not a uh, an act and it's not like a fight anymore this is actually getting very personal uh to a dangerous point and uh, I think that, you know, maybe we could tone it down just a bit, personally. <laughs> uh, especially since Dana White now just signed this thing with ESPN that states that they're getting a stagnant amount of money no matter how their fights do or who they have on their fight. So Dana's no longer looking for superstars and doing huge fights anymore. He's getting paid the same amount every single fight, so he's on salary, which is a safe bet. So now they're, now they're safe. So Dana White isn't looking to do all this chaos like he did back then. So he's probably going to be a lot more stern on certain things. Um, yeah. So speaking of Dana White, we could talk about balding because I'm a guy and uh, my hair is thinning just a little bit. I know it may not look like it in the camera, but it's thinner than it was when I was you know, younger. I'm 21 years old when I was like... 16 it was definitely a little thicker but um i think when men bald you just have to take it off dude just shave it and literally build muscle i'm, I'm not kidding if you're a an extremely bald guy like just everything is at a zero and you just have a you know crisp clean bald head and you're like 150 pounds you're not gonna look good you're just going to look like a cancer, especially if you're a white guy, like really pale. You're just going to look like a cancer patient. Uh, I would say build muscle if you ever get bald. And that's like, that's what I ever, that's what I always tell myself. If I ever get bald one day, I'm just going to build a lot of muscle and shave my hair off. Just, you know, go, uh, just be like the rock, I guess. And like tan yourself every day. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, that seems like the only viable option to do if you were actually a bald guy. I can't grow a beard for the life of me. If you find a single hair on my cheek, I will pay you a billion dollars. I have no hair. I can't grow a single hair on my face. But um, if you can grow a beard, then you can also do the beard style, you know, shave your head, grow a little scruffy beard and, you know, build muscle. But if you're balding really badly um, and you don't want to shave it off, I'd say wear hats. So that way people can only see like the sides of your head and the back of your head and it looks like you have hair. You give the illusion and hats look nice. You know, if you're a good looking guy and you dress nice putting on a hat, people would never notice, you know, I mean, it would be kind of a trip if you took a girl home and you took your hat off and then you were just bald. She'd probably be like, whoa, okay, wait a minute. But, you know, if you want to hide it just going to class and nobody really knows you and you're just talking to people, then yeah.